I love the beach and I'm fortunate enough to be able to come down here for a swim or a surf most days. When the sun's out in Australia, we all head to the beach. But the first thing to do is see where the red and yellow flags are because that's the safest spot to swim because rip currents can be real trouble. Beaches around the world see fatalities every year. So today I'm gonna to teach you about what to look out for and what to do if you do get caught in a rip current. Even for an experienced surfer or swimmer, it can be difficult to navigate and understand a rip current. A rip or a rip current is a strong, narrow current of water moving from the beach out to sea. Rips are notoriously difficult to spot, but there are three main things to look out for. One of the best ways to identify a rip is to look for calm water between choppy waves. That calm water may look safe, but in fact, it's a rip current. Another way is to look for dark water near the shore. Rips take sand out to sea, so this discoloured area will be an indication of a rip current. The third way to spot a rip is to look for rippling water on the surface with calmer water surrounding it. Often you'll only see one or two of these indications, so it's important to be aware of all three. Rips can be found anywhere, but are typically found at the end of beaches at the points, as well as occasionally in the middle of beaches where the water exits. If you do find yourself caught in a rip, although easier said than done, it's important not to panic. You can waste a lot of energy trying to swim against a riptide, where in fact, generally, they'll take you to calmer water. If you do find yourself in a rip and you choose to swim against it, swim across it, parallel to the shore. You can then use the ocean's energy, the waves, to bring you back to the sand. We want you to have a great time at the beach, but it is important to know where rip currents exist and what to do if you do get caught in one. And it's always best to swim where lifeguards are patrolling.